Um, I want to share with us today um, that the guidance and the leading of God is always available and is available to everybody, um, both those who know him and those who do not. The primary thing that uh, determines God's guidance in our lives is our priorities and our values. What we value and what we, we we put on the forefront is what determines whether we will hear his guidance and how we will hear his guidance. And uh, one of the things that have helped me personally is to clean my slate. Um, over time, I've been God has helped me to be able to uh, empty myself of the plans that I had and you know the desires and ideas that you uh, gather over time and these begin to crowd your judgment and in that situation it is very very difficult for God to guide you because you cannot hear his voice. All you, all you have is that continuous planning and plotting in your mind and in your heart and that then goes on to affect the way that you see. I felt I need to share the, the, this whole um, thing about God's guidance because somebody might think that they have an excuse because you might say I don't hear God's voice or uh, I don't see him at work in my life but the question is not whether you hear God or whether you can see him it doesn't begin there it begins uh, at what your priorities are and what your values are and when we make um, this whole reconciliation back to God our priority because that is the major thing and and then everything else will follow because without that then everything else that we do and pursue is for nothing um, so if we make um, recovery our priority because if we are honest with ourselves we start off at life with a half empty cup others start off with a 20 percent uh, uh, reserve in our cup others start off almost with nothing and and when you you say that now your priority in life will be to try and progress in your life you know you're trying to do all these things um, to make your life better or to progress then you are in deception because uh, that in itself is a lost cause the the first thing and the major thing is for us to pursue this wholeness and this peace that we don't usually have, have in the beginning, this rest and this um, uh, unconditional joy that God so wants to give us. Because even with God, when he's looking at us in, in our life, no matter how much we have accomplished in our lives, that is his priority. When he looks at us the, for the first time on earth, he wants to restore us back first and then we can move on to the added things, uh, you know, our jobs, our careers, our family. The first thing is for us to be reconciled back to God. And so back to his guidance, when you clean the slate, try and clear your mind. I'm not saying that you stop doing or, 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 or dreaming. When you clear your mind and your heart of, of all these things that you think you want, all these things, all these places that you think you should be, uh, you know, you think that by this age I should be at a certain place. When you clear your slate of all these things, you can actually begin to hear God's voice. And He is always there on a daily basis with the very minute uh, details of our lives. You know, you will hear Him tell you, don't go out today, stay back and do your work at home or something like that. When you're walking in the street, you will hear that leading, almost as though it is him animating your body, he's leading you into other places and, and, and trying to get you to not go to some other places. And you can only hear and see these, um, these moves when you are clean and you are clear and you are pure. Uh, and when your priority is to hear him. The, the, the one thing that determines who the sons of God are, who God's people are, is the fact that they are led by the Spirit. 
they are not led by their dreams they are not motivated by their visions you know those as earthly visions that we might have maybe for a project or a business or you know to hit a certain target at work that is not what leads the people people of god the, the major thing that determines that describes and that defines the people of god is that they are led by the spirit and you can only be led by the spirit when you are clean of all these things it is not to say that we will not do these things or that we will not pursue but those are things that we we keep on the outside we keep outside our spirit and we leave our spirit which is our heart and the cradle of our mind to be free to hear him at all times free at all times so that you can always hear him leading let me say that uh, god is always trying to direct us and to bring us to this precious place that he has desired so much to bring us to he, he said that i go to prepare a place for you and this is the place that he is constantly always trying to bring us to and it is a place of peace basically that is the greatest gift that God can give you his kingdom and the kingdom of God is not of eating and all these things that we pursue on the earth the kingdom of God is peace and joy in the Holy Ghost and rest and that is our home that is where God begins our life trying to bring us to at all times no matter what we are trying to pursue and if we make that our priority as well, God's priority, our priority, we will find that we are making progress in the right direction. And we are not making a progress that will eventually be cancelled by the fact that we put the cart before the horse. You know, if you pursue the things and the people and the places of the earth uh, before you pursue God, at a certain point in your life, if you really desire God, he will have to take you back because some, most of those things you will have achieved will not be on the right foundation. And for our, our achievements and our work to not be in vain, it is proper for us to identify what the correct order is, is what the order is. And when God tries to initiate that order, for those who are sensitive to him, we might feel like we are being held back, right? You feel like... Um, uh, it is not a progressive uh, um, way of doing things but God is so wise and he says that his ways are not our ways and when he is doing this it is up to us now to know who we are dealing with so that we can trust him to come into our lives and undo some things and you know stop uh, time on our clock you know you see your friends progressing and you know things on the earth continue but you feel like your life is not but trust him to understand that he knows what what he's doing god actually knows what he's doing even though to us it doesn't make sense most of the times and this is something important for us to understand so that we can know how it works we can understand how life actually works that the priority for us should not be to make our life better, our external life better, because that is how the world uh, directs us. You know, you go to school, you're supposed to um, get a good job and get a, uh, make a good life for yourself, make your life comfortable, but all this is in the external. And that is why God says, uh, seek ye first my kingdom. And what is his kingdom? His kingdom is peace joy that rest that actually enables you to consume all these things on the earth without losing your soul um, because when we don't have that wholeness at the beginning and we are going out into the world where things are so enticing where things are so intense because physical things are very attractive to our flesh these things will consume us and they will take us away from god but when we pursue that wholeness and that reconciliation back to God and then we are heading out to life to achieve all those things that we want to achieve, we will not be at the risk of losing God uh, to gain all those things and to do all those things. Um, and that is, to me, uh, the number one thing, the number one thing and the only way that you can be able to hear God's voice guiding you 
don't take that job, don't take that house, don't live there, um, uh, wait for a year before you try and start that business, sit back with me, uh, pray and, and fast or, or worship and, and seek me in, a, in private for a year. You know, those are some of the things that God, the Holy Spirit will guide you to do and he will guide you to do some of the most ridiculous things. Um, the ridiculous things in order to bring you to this uh, this place and you're only able to uh, obey if you're willing to let go of all these plans and ideas that you had for yourself and that's why I'm saying that our priorities are what keep us from um, perceiving uh, the guidance of God in our life in the mighty name of Jesus and, and I want to tell somebody that God's plans for us are for good to give us a future and a hope. Sometimes it might not feel like it. It might not look like it, but try and remember who you're dealing with, that God is faithful, and that God is not a man that he should lie, and that God, God's ways are perfect, that he does not make any mistakes. His vision is 2020. His vision is perfect in the mighty name of Jesus, and I, so that you can understand that you can actually trust him. And the only thing that will rival your trust in God is all these things that you think you're supposed to pursue and that fear of what people, people think or what will people see in me when you know I'm not doing all these things and I don't have this and I don't have that that fear put that to death and understand that um, people are like the grass in the field they are here today and gone tomorrow that their opinions should not rival your value for God and what you want to give to God and and what how you want to please God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we cannot exalt the opinions of men and the values and 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 the, and the principles of the world above the word of God and above his ways and his leading we have to bring ourselves to the place where we say that we love him more than all those things and that we know, even though we, we might not need, we might not see, uh, that we know that pursuing him and taking his, his path and his way is what leads us to the best option for our life. That there is no plan that we can sit down to design for our own lives that can rival the plan that God, God has for us. The biggest thing here is to trust to know him so that you can trust him and to clean your table so that God can have an opportunity to guide you and to write in your life and to make you a living testimony in the mighty name of Jesus.